All right, guys, I will. I'm at the show with Dario Caravans again, and behind me here is the Snowy River Caravan SRP 18. This is a bunk caravan and a pop top as well, the first of its type in the entire lineup. So this thing is super unique, even for pop tops. Now, personally, I've never owned a pop top, but being in this field, I've seen a lot of them. And I can tell you that there's a couple of things on this I can't ever remember seeing in any other pop top before. They're super unique and super well built. Having a look at the outside, you're sticking with the, the beautiful, clean exterior of the Snowy River Caravans. It looks just the same. The only real difference is you've got that pop top. So when you're underway, you're gonna have less drag and you'll get better fuel efficiencies with your towing. Then once you get there, you can see they've got this absolutely awesome little mechanism with a touch of a button, up it goes. Super simple and a pleasure to work with, not like some of those old pop tops where you gotta wrestle them out. As you can see, they're still stuck with the absolute rock solid chassis here. And of course, a huge tunnel boot, so there's plenty of room for storage. Just over my shoulder here, you can see it's got an awning, which just automatically goes up as the roof extends, and then it just pops out like a traditional awning. Well, that's enough of the outside. Let's check out inside. Okay, so coming inside, straight away across from the door, you've got your kitchen with plenty and plenty of storage. Just on from that, you can see your bunks up at the end there. You've got your L-seater lounge here, just across from the kitchen. And then at the other end here, you've got your bed, which is east-west bed, which just seems to be so popular in these small form factor caravans. So I told you that there was something about this caravan that I'd not seen before. And check out this insulation up here. You might say, yeah, they, all caravans have that, but, but actually have a look at this. Unzipping it, this is at least a two-ply insulation. It feels like there might be even some insulation between the two outer plies. So this is what I would expect to see in like, a, in like a tent that you might take to the Arctic or something along those lines. This is really, really overkill, but it's just so good to see because all these pop tops just forever lose their heat because it's such a thin material up the top there. But with this double insulation, it's gonna keep heaps more of your heat in or the heat out, depending on what climate you're in. Opening up, you can see behind this, there's actually a whole nother membrane. So you've got this two-ply insulator on the outer. And then when you flip that down, you've got this canvassy material, really thick material here, which is your waterproof material. And then when you unzip that and flip that down, you've still got a midgy mesh over that. So there's no worries about ventilation. You've got one on each side so you can open them for cross ventilation depending on what way the wind is going or you can have them all open on a beautiful day. Now, while we're talking about the thermals, yes, this caravan comes with a full split system, reverse cycle air conditioner. So when you're in the tropics, you can whack the air conditioner on or if you're down in Melbourne, you can run the heater. Now that's not it. There's something else in this caravan which is pretty freaking cool and that is the full ensuite at the rear. You've got your basin on the outside here, so that can be used at any time, whether someone's on the toilet or in the shower or not. And then of course you open up, you've got your shower with your toilet beside it. Now, one thing I absolutely love about all the snowies, and I think a lot of modern caravans do this, is this large shower lip down the bottom. What we would do with our young kids in our caravan is fill the bottom up with a couple of inches of water and let them have a bath. And that's only possible because of that large tub. And the kids just love it. They'd stay in there for half an hour at a time. And then you'd be saving water. It doesn't take much to fill up. I think from our last caravan, it was like 20 litres of water would fill the bottom of that bath up and they'd be in there for half an hour. Where if you run the shower, you could get rid of that 20 litres in 10 minutes, if not less. Another thing that Snowy have done on this caravan, which is an absolute win, again, keeping with that thermal, is double glazed windows throughout. So all of the windows are double glazed, so there's outer layer and an inner layer, a bit like your double ply insulation up the top. It just makes it harder for the air to get through because the air has to first go into the middle chamber before it then gets through to the other side. So it just makes this caravan super, super thermal. I'd love to see the stats on just how much colder this would stay in the sun than a traditional style pop top. I actually think you'd be blown away. Having a more detailed look at the kitchen, you can see we've got this great size fridge heaps of storage above and below, and of course the sink moving across, you've got your microwave, your oven, and even the one that we don't expect in a pop top, a full gas burner. Okay guys, well I hope you liked this video of this snowy river pop top. Thanks for coming through it with us.